members of the jury, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's such a pleasure for me to be part of this advocacy, to plead for public water in Cameroon. Why are we talking today about water being public and not privatized? We are supposed to understand why we need water to be public. Well, it's not a matter of being public or privatized, but it's a matter of water being available for everybody in quantity and in quality, as the four camp said. So, we have noticed that, on the other hand, those who were holding water or the private water were not able to supply water to the population in quantity and in quality within the years. So now it's very difficult to put all our eggs in one tray. It's better now to give the possibility to the population that is actually suffering from lack of water to try and see how it can provide water for itself. Let's look for instance in Douala. The population is suffering. The population does not have access to drinking water. The population does not have access to good water because the private society is not supplying water enough. The private society is not supplying water in quantity and in quality. So the population knows how to get water. There are many people, there are many strategies to bring water to the population. There are many strategies that the population can use to bring water to himself. We can see people who are already digging boreholes and people who are working forward to have water in their houses. Look at the north region of Cameroon where population suffer and then they cannot have water, they cannot have good water because we have put all our trust to those who cool, provide water, those called private enterprises or private companies to provide water in quantity and quality but they were not able. So now it is better for us to focus on this population who every day so fast from lack of water. Yes, why are we insisting on water? Why are we insisting on the good quality of water? Because water can contribute for the development of an area, of a region, and why not, of a country. Let's look at the southwest region. There is a village in the southwest region called Likombe. The soil is very fertile, but we can count the number of people that live there. Why? Because there is not a drinkable water. Because there is not enough water for the population. They have to so far to get some water. They have to get to the, so to, to the city to get some water. So it is not good. And then the soil is fertile, but the area is not developed. We used to say in French that quand la route passe, le développement suit. But we should also add in that that quand l'eau passe, le développement suit. So there are three facts for the development of a country. We have electricity, we have the road, and we have water. Water is very important to develop an area. So we should no more be basing ourselves to those who are already paid. It's better for us to trust the population who can do something and provide water for himself.